so what am I doing? Back in my tractor into my wood shop. Well, this is my leaf vacuum. And I really love this thing, but I also hate it. I'll show you why, but I'm dependent on it. I've got silver maple trees, probably six of them, cottonwoods, oak trees, walnut trees, and they all drop a ton, literally, of leaves that we have to pick up every year from about the middle of October to almost Thanksgiving. We fill this thing up probably 20 or 30 times every year to get all the leaves from over here all the way over to the compost pile which doesn't bother me that much, but the part that bugs me about this thing is having to open it up to empty it. To open it up, you have to undo all of this stuff. There's three buckles right there. And then there's another four of them right down here. You have to do all of that every single time. And then you gotta cinch it back together again, boy, I'd really like to make a plywood trailer box and replace this whole canvas thing and have a pair of doors in the back and a couple of hinges so you can just swing them open and dump the leaves. And that is what I'm gonna do because that's what carpenters do. They solve problems. So we're using two by twos for framing. We've got this thing. Actually upside down here. And I'm using these round head washer screws that are about an inch and five eighths to really attach the framing to the plywood. I'm just shooting an 18 brad, 18 gauge brad to hold it together temporarily till I get these screws in. And then we'll have each one of these panels with a framing RD on it, and it'll be real simple to put the sides on. So this is the top, and I'm gonna cut a big hole in it and put screening on the inside for a vent because this vacuum thing's got to have really good ventilation so you know dust and some small bits of leaves can get kind of exhausted out of it. Otherwise, the suction from the vacuum, you know, won't be able to displace the, the built up pressure inside the box. And the screening has to be pretty big because we found with the old one, the original one, gets clogged real easily. So we're using a larger screen and we might end up with a little bit more dust when we're running this, but I'd rather have a little bit more dust and a few particles of leaves blowing around a little bit than have the thing back up and not be able to draw leaves off the ground. So I'm just gonna staple this screening down temporarily to get it nice and tight and taut. And then I made this little frame that I'll screw right to the top to really secure it. Cause boy, this thing's gonna get beat up seriously. I wanna make sure this screen never comes loose. Now these two pieces of one bar, the supports for the baffle, gonna run a piece of plywood all the way across right down to the inside of the top so we can deflect any leaves from coming directly into the screen and that way the screen won't fill up so quickly. And there is the baffle, the deflector. It ain't pretty, but it's gonna work. Pull that off. So we used the bell end off a piece of six inch PVC. It slipped right onto this fitting, snug as can be. And then we slowly cut that hole until 
that fit right through it. It just barely penetrates the half inch plywood, which is more than good enough. In fact, we probably didn't even have to penetrate it because the air blows out of here so hard, it's gonna always go inside the box. So, here's our new leaf vacuum trailer. Instead of that canvas one that we purchased with the vacuum, we built this plywood box and it works really effectively. We just added this deflector on the top. There's another deflector inside that we were talking about when we built this thing. And actually we've been repositioning that too so that we get the right flow of air through here. When we first put the deflector in, we put it in real close to this exhaust screen and it caused the air to move, pick up the leaves and completely plug the screen. So we move that deflector forward, which I'll show you when we dump this. So it's really easy to dump now too. All we have to do is lift up this hinge and the door is open. It's that quick. But the reason I really like this is because I'm gonna probably have to empty the trailer maybe twice to pick up all of these, yeah. That's how much this thing can carry. It can pick up probably half this in one load and the other half in another load. And we'll be done picking all of these up probably in an hour or less. And that's how efficient this thing is. Check out the motor. Look, this thing's got a 10 horse Briggs engine on it. I kind of wish it were a Honda. I might not have to wear these, but man, this thing really draws some air through it and it has to. This isn't a vacuum that you can use as a cordless tool for. This cannot be cordless. So with this 10 horse motor, we're able to draw everything into here pretty fast. The suction off the end of that line, off the end of that hose is strong enough, it'll almost suck your arm in. Now it's designed to also attach directly to the belly mower on the tractor. And we use it that way sometimes, but boy, so many leaves come off these silver maples that the tractor and the belly mower just can't keep up with it, it just plugs. So we really depend on the vacuum with the hose to pick up the majority of the leaves here. And I love picking them up because then we can compost them all. And we end up with some really beautiful compost every single year because of that. And this is the really awesome part, because to open this, that's it. We don't have to unsnap like five or six, I think there was like eight buckles, snap buckles on that old one. Now it's just like this little guy locks those rear doors and the hasp keeps them shut for sure, a little safety feature. And all of this just, falls out and I can use the three-point hitch to actually raise this thing up in the air and really dump. The doors swing back and latch on the sides so when we dump this thing we don't break the doors off. All I know how to do is work with wood so I made this L-shaped little bracket out of plywood you just slide it up out of the way and then you probably noticed how most of these leaves are chewed up because it's not just a vacuum 
there's a little like grinding wheel that mulches all the leaves as they're drawn in through the hose. So all this stuff breaks down really fast. That's it. Latch it back in the front. And seal up the doors. And that's it. Oh, while we're here. Let me show you the deflector. So you can call it a baffle or a deflector, whatever you want. But originally we took this unit and we attached it right here at the back. So it actually covered the vent right here. And what we discovered was as the leaves come in and the air begins to flow, it curls right against the back of the doors like a wave. And as it comes across that wave, it wants to exit through the screen, but with the deflector right here, it filled the whole deflector up like a shelf, and it wouldn't let those leaves out of there, and it just plugged the vent completely. So we moved the deflector back, and now it's working really nice, super efficient. So the doors have to be able to latch back, or when you dump the trailer, they get pinched against the dirt. So I gotta admit, this is pretty like, uh, <laughs> oh, it's like a, like a, it's like a ghetto trailer. It's pretty Rube Goldberg-ish, you know? It's like, make do with what you can and get it done as quick as you can. This thing's just totally practical. It's not fancy. We're gonna paint it once we're, once we're satisfied we got the design down, we'll paint it so it lasts longer outside. But that's about it. It's just a functional trailer. I love this thing. We're able to pick up three times as many leaves in half the amount of time.